The Battle of West Hubei was one of 22 major engagements between the National Revolutionary Army and Imperial Japanese Army during the Second Sino-Japanese War. It was also one of four major battles that took place in Hubei. It resulted in a Chinese strategic victory, although they lost more troops than the Japanese army. Historian Barbara W. Tuckman, however, writes that the Japanese withdrew without pursuit from what appeared to have been a training and foraging offensive to collect rice and river shipping. However, that states that it ended in a tactical draw. The Chinese government and Western media reported that the Chinese had scored a major victory. Chapter 1 Combat The Japanese first attacked with 40,000 troops in the two armies of the 26th Group Army with about 50,000 troops in three divisions, then attacked the two armies of the 10th Army with about 60,000 men, and finally attacked the upper reaches of the Yangtze River with 70,000 troops. The two armies of the Jiang Fang Army transported the ships they had already captured along the river to Hankou. The 13th Division of the Japanese Army had more than 20,000 troops. On the night of May 12, it smuggled across the Yangtze River from Shashi and other places in the gap between the Jiangnan defenders and attacked the 87th Army garrison from the northwest in the morning of the next morning. At the same time, it had already occupied Anhui. The Japanese 3rd Division and other divisions in the rural area also marched westward to the southeast, to attack the 87th Army. The two Japanese troops formed a pincer offensive. As of the 28th, the Japanese troops who had crossed the Qingjiang River had approached the number one National Army guarding Shipai Fortress. Road Defense Line Nanlinpo Position Chen Cheng of the National Army decided to fight the enemy on the Qingjiang River and on the front line of Shipai Fortress. The decisive battle date is scheduled to be between 31st and June 1st. On the other hand, after the main force of the 13th Division of the Japanese Army crossed the Qingjiang River, it was blocked by the 121st Division of the National Army and had to venture over Tianzhu Mountain in the middle of Changyang. The horses lost a lot of weight on the way. The 5th Division of the National Army set up an ambush on the Tianxiusen main road and retreated after killing hundreds of Japanese troops. On May 30, after suffering heavy casualties, the 13th Division broke through the strategically important Macau Creek near Shipai and attacked Taishi Bridge. The main force of the 5th Division of the National Army used the dangerous terrain of Taishi Bridge to set up an ambush. When the Japanese army entered the ambush circle, the National Army fired violently at the Japanese army with intensive firepower, and then engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The National Army repelled more than ten consecutive Japanese attacks by virtue of its difficult terrain. The main force of the 13th Division of the Japanese Army was blocked in the area of Teishikau and Makauksi, laying the foundation for the subsequent siege of Shipai. Chapter 2 – Results The Chinese government and Western media reported that the Chinese had scored a major victory. Historian Barbara W. Tuckman had another opinion, however. She wrote that the Japanese withdrew without pursuit from what appeared to have been a training and foraging offensive to collect rice and river shipping. Chapter 3 – Changzhou Massacre During the period of the Battle of West Hubei, Japanese troops reportedly slaughtered more than 30,000 civilians at a factory in the tiny hamlet of Changzhou, northern Hunan, over a three-day period from 9 the 12th of May 1943. 